Okay, you guys, let's talk about Nick Cannon again. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Nick Cannon again. Now, the reason why I want to talk about him is because the poor dude isn't really in a good place at the moment. Now, people are getting on his back because he apologized. I don't know. Can't you... Can everybody just leave him alone for goodness sake? It's it's not easy. Now, in the last video, I did talk about him refusing to apologize. I think he was trying to stand firm to what he said. If you don't know what he said, it was anti-Semitic statements and it was racist statements. If you want to know more about that, you can check my previous video. But that's not news anymore. What's going on now is that Nick Cannon, you know, about two or three days ago, posted on his Twitter things that were you know, relating to someone who is, you know, trying to kind of like visit the S word. And this is a cause of worry. What has brought him to this point to actually consider the S word, if you know what I mean? Well, a lot of people are getting on his back because he apologized. People are calling him sellout. He said so himself. I actually saw a tweet of his. Um, let me read the tweet so I don't paraphrase um, what he said. What Nick Allen said three days ago was, I heard an entire community and it pained me to my core. I thought it could not get any worse. Then I watched my own community turn on me and called me a sellout for apologizing. Good night. Enjoy Earth. Now, this sounds like somebody who's really calling for attention for a savior. And I know a lot of blue check marks out there are really encouraging him. I let's. I mean, I know some people are telling him, dude, your community, let me just read what this guy said, to be honest, um, instead of trying to do it off hat. Um, the guy said, this guy, Ron Coleman, he's a blue check mark. He said, that's not your community. They're just the loudest. A community cannot be built on hate. Your community is where you choose to make your home. Good luck and thank you for being open to learning. Compared to that, apologizing is trivial. To be honest with you, he could not be more on point. In my opinion, what Nick Cannon said was very hurtful to the Jewish community and what he said was also hurtful to white people as well. It was racist and anti-Semitic. There's no argument about that. But why is it that a lot of people, especially from his own community, as he has said, which means he's referring to black people, these are the people that he's standing for, he was talking about in the first instance, are saying that he's a sellout. Well... Radiga sheds a little bit of light into this. Now, if you don't know who Radiga is, she's the first lady of the Flip Mode Squad when the Flip Mode Squad was a group that's Buster Rhymes group. And she's a hot rapper in the rap music industry. She's a queen. She's a rap queen. And yeah, she gave her own insights as to what Nick Cannon was trying to say. So she was trying to say that Nick Cannon was trying to say that. I'm trying to say that. And trying to say that. Anyway, I'm trying to say that. Too many trying to say that. <laughs> Basically, what he was saying was it's impossible for a black person to be anti-Semitic if we were, you know, or the original Semites. Now, you have, you know, that is a discussion within the woke community. You know, are we originally from, you know, Africa? Are we originally from Middle East? Were we here already? I mean, I think if you just kind of, you know, research and, and, and just kind of put all the pieces together. If we were original people, we were everywhere. So we're indigenous people. We're African. Like we are the, you know, we are the original people of, of the planet earth. If you, you know, if you believe Adam and Eve was black, if you believe Jesus is black, if, if you believe these people are black, then it would make sense for everything original to be, you know, an extension of black people. So, and, and really what he was getting into really was just the science. Like, I think. I but what she was saying is that Nick Cannon was trying to explain the origins of everybody, of all the races, basically. And saying that, in saying that, he was saying that um, black people are the original people of the earth. So you could correlate that to black people being the first Hebrew of the earth now if that was the only thing nick cannon said even i will be going against him saying why are you apologizing evolution depicts that black people were the first people on the earth okay so the migration into places where there was less influence of the sun caused 
people's melanin people to get less melanated and then they kind of like evolution made them become light-skinned than other people with more melanation uh, with more melanated skin anyway these are all scientific explanation bloody 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 blah that would not be the problem if that's the only thing that nick cannon was talking about and talking about origins of man and then if he talked about yes man black people suffered from white people you know and maybe you know kind of like refer to those specific people who participated in slave trade and said those particular people had this mindset then nobody would be angry because you would be referring to a particular set of people who actually committed the act of slavery who actually deemed racism a good thing but when you generalize forgetting that abolitionists in america were white people who had compassion who actually fought other white people for the freedom of black people but you generally lies in your statement saying that they're all savages and you group them together well that's racism when you check the definition of racism racism is not synonymous to white people it's not synonymous to asians it's not synonymous to arabs it's everybody if you are talking to somebody or if you are referring to people as lesser beings than you which he actually said he said they are a little less because they lack melanin they are a little less compassionate because they they are not compassionate they lack compassion and this makes them savages and barbaric people and i'm referring to and he was referring to white people europeans jewish people he said it himself these things are all racial statements and these things are all anti-semitic statements saying that they are the original jews that we are the original jews and that the jewish people or we are the original hebrews and that the jewish people have actually stolen our identity i'm paraphrasing once again basically these are the things that he said when you say those kind of things you have offended some people and you have you have generalized and this is what we hate about white people saying about us even if you are trying to explain and talk about history, if there weren't any good white people at all, I think slave trade would st would have still existed till today. But there were. And thank God, there are more good white people out there. The problem about this whole thing is that he was kind of like quoting Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan, we all know, I talked about him, the leader of the nation of Islam in America, is putting these things, these anti-Semite thoughts, these uh, and racist thoughts into people's heads, making them look at the white people like the enemy. He said it so many times. He said black people should move out of America and move to Africa when Africans are trying to take their ass to America or Europe or somewhere else. He's trying to say that. Now, my issue with all this is why do we have these discussions? What are the purposes of these particular discussions that they're having in woke America? Because I know that there are some black Americans who believe that they're direct descendants of the Hebrew people. Not that they're direct descendants from Africa. They believe that they're direct descendants from the Hebrew people, that they're the original Hebrew people. They call themselves the black Hebrew Israelites. They base their religion on the Bible and Judaism put together, which is fine, which is all right. And they could have basis for their argument, which is also fine. But don't base your argument on discrediting other people's identity there could be nothing worse than that because if you are saying like radiga was trying to explain away this these guys you know wrong statements you know if you are saying that for them then it's fine if it's fine for us that we can't be anti-semi when we are not identifying as jews as we as it were we're not identifying as hebrews as it were in general not all black people are going along with that talk right in saying that then you are making a case for white people as well because white people originated from black people according to your even your own notion white people originated from black people so if they did if white people were originally black then maybe they can't be guilty of racism if we can't be guilty of anti-Semitism. 
That could be an argument. Let me know what you think about that argument in the comment section below. Do you think that black people can't be anti-Semites? And in such a, in, and then in that case, maybe white people can be racist either because we all originate from the same place. Or do you think what he said was anti-Semitic and he was right to apologize? Whatever reason behind Nick Cannon apologizing, I think he did the right stuff. And Nick, I really think you need to stay strong. You have two beautiful kids. You need to stay strong for them. I think you got another one on the way. I'm not too sure. Um, you need to be you. You're a nice guy. Nick is a good guy. And he just needs to be him. And everybody else needs to get off his back. He's just being a human being. We're capable of mistakes. And we can correct that mistakes. Even though the guy that responded to him, the blue check mark guy that responded to him said apologies are trivial. I think apologies are big. They're massive. And it takes a really, really big person to admit when they're wrong. So Nick, I think you're a good person. And I think you're a big person and even a bigger one for accepting to get thought, to get corrected. We can all learn, all of us. Those are my thoughts with regards to this particular situation. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And do not forget to hit that like on this video as well as hit the subscribe button and ring that bell for notification. I will be catching you guys on the next one. But before I do, please remember to look after each other and look out for each other. Peace and signers out.